guys, this is Eban Films, and today I'm here with a tutorial on a realistic explosion. I have already imported my files, so let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to drag your base footage into a new composition. It's just a, a footage of, of a house that's across my, from mine. So um, I also have some explosions from Blink Farms, and um, I'll link you to that video where they give you these. This is their volume 2 pack, so as you can see, they're very high quality. So we're going to be using those, and uh, let's, let's go back to our footage. So as you can see, it's moving around a lot, and if I just put that explosion in there, it's just going to be floating around. It's not going to look good at all. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Animation, Track, and Mocha AE. Now this will bring up Mocha After Effects, so... We'll just wait for that to load. And register later. And then we'll just click OK because usually this will give you all the ba this will give you all the correct settings. So click OK. I'm gonna overwrite that. And now you're gonna click on your X spline tool, which is up here, right next to the magnifying glass. And I'm gonna track the ground just around here. See, hold on. My bad. Kind of messed up my track. Alright. And you're going to want to try to match the perspective that this is in. Okay. And now I just track forward, which is right down here in the track panel. And I'll just let that finish up. Alright. So now this has been tracked. So we're going to click on export tracking data and copy to clipboard. Now we go into After Effects and we're going to create a new null object. I'm going to rename this to Front Yard. So now what you're going to do, you're going to paste the, the, the tracking data that we just got from Mocha onto that Front Yard null. And now we're going to click away from that and we're going to go into the Transform Properties and deselect Keyframing for Anchor Point. And so now we can move this in front of wherever we want it to be. But I'm going to just keep it up right there. And it looks like it's pretty stuck to everything. So that's really, that's good. That means we have a good track. So now we're going to drag our explosion in there. And as you can see, it is not parented to that. So what you're going to do, you're going to parent this. You're going to parent the explosion to the front yard null. And now, since we did that, since since the tracking data is on a null, we can move this explosion anywhere we want. We can resize it, and we can move it wherever we want. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this look a bit better, because right now, it just kind of looks really fake. Because it's just kind of there. So I'm going to add a shadow to it. So I'm going to... I'm going to duplicate that explosion layer and I'm going to add a tint effect to the bottom layer. And we're going to say map white to black. And obviously it's not going to do anything right now because we still have to position some stuff. So what we're going to do now is we are going to rotate this. I'm going to rotate it it's right there and I'm gonna just size it down like that oops and extend it and then I'm just gonna put it right down where the explosion is just rotate it a bit more so it sticks better with the ground And then what we're going to do, we're going to turn the opacity down a lot because a straight black shadow like that, that's not realistic at all. So we're going to turn the opacity down a lot. And as you can see, that's a pretty good looking shadow. I'm going to size it down a bit just so it doesn't cover up everything. I'm going to position it right there. 
And there you go. There's a nice little shadow. And it has, since we duplicated it, it has the same tracking data since it's parented to the front yard as well. And there you go. There's a nice little explosion shadow. But now what I really want to do is I also I just want to make it look a bit better with some debris. And so I'm going to import the debris from the Action Essentials pack that you can get from videocopilot.net. I'll link that in the description. So now we're going to go to the debris folder. And I'm going to import the bouncing debris. Okay. So now let's choose one that we think looks really good. Okay, so we'll place that above the shadow layer, but below the actual explosion layer. And then we're going to parent this to the front yard, just so it could be stuck. And as you can see, that's way too big right now, so I'm going to scale that down. And rotate it a bit, just so it fits in better. And there's our debris. And it looks pretty good. Except what I'm going to do, I'm also going to create a shadow layer for this. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, I didn't do anything. Yes, I did. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go to our bottom layer and add a tint effect again. And map the white to black. And then what you're going to do, you're going to drag that under it a bit, just a tiny bit and drag it forward and then scale it down just so it's thinner like that and then we're going to turn the opacity down and there's some debris So there you go. Um, and now I also want to add an explosion sound to this. Um, I downloaded some gun change packs from, like, uh, for gun exchange packs like Counter Strike Global Offensive. So actually, these were meant to go to replace gun sounds inside of games, but you can download these from. Um, websites for free and they sound really high quality so I'm gonna get my C4 sounds I'm gonna choose this one because it's the only one in there right now and we're gonna place it under we're just gonna place it right above here it doesn't really matter where we place it because it's just a sound and now let's do a RAM preview a little bit loud so I'm actually gonna turn that down just a bit so there we go let's get another RAM preview oh yeah I forgot I have to mute my footage if you're if you're talking in the background when you're doing this you're gonna definitely want to mute your footage so there you go there's a small explosion and um, if you want add letterboxing color correction stuff like that but uh yeah that's just about it and just for the sake j just for the sake of beginners I'm going to show you how to render here you're going to since your comp is going to be selected I'm going to rename this just so it has a better name and I'm going to say explosion and we're going to say add to render queue and I'm going to change this from lossless to um, H264 and click on audio, click the check mark on audio, audio output. Then we're going to click OK and I'm going to choose a folder to s send this to. And I'm going to say V2 on this because I actually was working on this tutorial before, but the recording got messed up. So I'm gonna save it and we're going to click render.
And that's just about it. So this, this has been Evan Films with a explosion tutorial. I will see you all next time.